What's up today, my fellow Manor Soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is predicting every Dallas Cowboy player that will be in the playoff promo, whether they be upgraded players or the current players we have now or new additions to the Dallas Cowboy theme team of players that we don't even have in Madden yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Another thing I'm going to be speaking about before I forget is the possible sets that may be available. I'm going to do it based on previous Maddens and based on how they've been doing it this year. And then we'll just come up with an idea. But the main thing of this video is to predict the players. So this is how I want to do it first, right? I didn't go through yet and I didn't be like, oh, I think this player is going to get an upgrade. I think this player is going to get an upgrade. What I want to do is I wanted to take you through the process of us looking and making an intelligent decision of thinking like, okay, this is possible for these players to get a playoff promo card, right? Whether it be a master or a gold version or an elite version of them, I'm going to be making predictions based on that. So first and foremost, what I want to look at is the squad, right? So let's check a look out at the squad. We'll, just, we'll say we're probably going to have, I'm going to predict, right? The Cowboys, any cards that they get is going to be about seven to eight players. I'm going to predict that. Um, they're going to be helping and, and completing the sets and they're going to be doing other little things when it comes to these players, right? And that's just the actual Cowboy players that actually from the start get the cam that you don't have to power them up i'm not talking about other players who may be in the nfl still who who play for the cowboys and gets cowboy cams that might be additional players as well as you know new additions to the cowboy squad that they haven't even been in the in madden this year so far just new cards or whatever so anyways let's go ahead and uh what is it, what is it over here? all right so what i will say who actually in my opinion, without a doubt, I would say. And I think someone just mentioned this earlier, which would make perfect sense, right? Because he hasn't got an upgrade at all. The only card that he has, which here, as we're seeing right here, let me go ahead and click on it, is Zach Martin. Zach Martin been an 88 overall. Well, I have him powered up, so he's an 88, but he's an 87 without being powered up. He hasn't got a card since Madden was started. I mean, since Madden, uh, since day one of Madden. This is the only card he had. So... For the person who mentioned it earlier, I was thinking this already, and you just you just validated it, so I wanted to bring it up first, is the fact that he hasn't got a card yet. Realistically, I could see him getting a card, and not only getting a card, but possibly even getting a master card. Like, you know, like the, the, the ultimate version of the playoff promo. He might be one of the, he might be the master or one of the masters, however it is they're going to go about doing it. But if not, let's just say, for instance, he might get a 91 or a 92. I believe he he could he, he could go it could go either way. I'm not gonna say he's gonna get a master. I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, he's just gonna get a 91. It could go either way. Either way, I'll go ahead and take it. Me, in my opinion, if he's gonna get a card, I would rather it be a master. Because besides that, we got 91 overall Leonard Davis. I mean, the master, I'm assuming, whatever the master is gonna be from like previous season, it's gonna be a 95 overall or higher. If they go lower, I don't see it. It's really gonna be a 95 or, or, or lower. So I'd rather have something that we could do more with him instead of just having, if I'm gonna get a lineman, I want it higher than the lineman we have now. Let's just put it like that. But I can see him realistically getting the card. So he's one of the ones that I'll start off with. The center, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see him getting the card, like at all. But it's possible that. Okay, well let, let me let me let me let, 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 let me let me fix this real quick, and I'm gonna come back to you guys, right? All right, guys. So yeah, I had to fix my problem real quick with the internet. I don't. I know you. Whoever's been tuning in lately, you guys, have been seeing that that's actually been going on. I don't. I, I doubt it's my internet. I think it's really the console or the connection that I'm having with it. Whatever the case may be, it's been doing that here and there, and it's getting frustrating. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get back to it. I don't believe the center will get an upgraded card. I'm just hoping. I'm. This is just me saying that I hope he does, just so we can have a better center. Or it's possible that one of the top, top, top players, like the, I think we got like a 96 or 97 overall. I, I, they might consider them master. So there's going to be like a, a, a top version of the Cowboy players that we're going to get for the playoff promo, which is usually a 95, which they'll be like the master of the Cowboys. And then there's going to be like a playoff 
master version for everybody like in the NFC East and I'm sorry in the NFC and then also the AFC they usually do something like that so if they release I mean I'm not gonna say I don't think they're gonna do it but if they release like a center for the Cowboys that would be nice but anyways I don't see them uh releasing this center right here Tyler I don't see them doing it but if they do I'll be more than happy so I will say I will say Zach Martin will be one of them (sighs) Ezekiel Elliott man I would love to see him get a card and it's possible it's possible in my opinion that Ezekiel Elliott will get an upgrade it's a high possibility that Ezekiel Elliott will get an upgrade it could possibly be a master or it could be like a 92 or 93 version I think it could usually go from like 89 90 91 92 and I think the highest is like a 93 I forgot I mean look at they they could do whatever way they want. Every year they're gonna change it, whatever the case may be. But I believe that if you don't get one of the master versions of the Cowboys, he'll probably get like a 93 because he already got to 90. So he'll get like a 92, 93, which I'm alright with. I, any any boost to Zeke, we need any halfback we could possibly get. So I'll be happy with. So if they do give him up, if they do give him one, I'll be happy with. And I can see them actually giving him one. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. So let's 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 go to polar, right? I don't know why it show compare, right? But it's it's all fine because I just want to see his card. So it shows Tony. I'm I'm gonna show you guys Tony Pollard. Uh, Pollard. I know you guys think like why would they give him a play? I I really believe they're gonna give him a playoff card. He may not get a 95 overall like a master. He may not get anything like that. But he's gonna. He's not gonna. I, don't, I doubt he's gonna be a 76 this whole season. He's been playing too well for them not to honor him and give him a, a decent card. So I believe he'll get an elite card, whether that's an 89, 90, and best believe it's gonna be the fastest card that we have on the Cowboy team. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. If they give him an 89, 90, his speed's gonna go up uh, ridiculously. So I will say that I could actually see him getting a playoff card, but we, mind you, it'll be a lower elite version of it, right? It would just be one of those. That's what I could say about that. I see him getting one of those cards. So I will say that. And he's also a much, much needed upgrade, but I could see him getting the card in the playoff promo. Another one, Tyron Smith. So they, be, they he was one of the ones to get a superstar. If they give him a superstar, he's one of the ones that continue to get upgrades throughout the season. He's another one that I can see getting an upgrade, whether he'll be a 95 overall or a 93. Whatever it is, he's going to be a 91. He's going to go higher than what he is right now. So I can see him realistically getting an upgraded card and getting a playoff card. Once again, there's going to be multiple versions of the playoff card. And usually the highest one is a 95 when it comes just to the Dallas Cowboys in their set. Not including the NFC Master as well as the AFC Master, which they usually have. So I, I, could, I could see realistically Tyron Smith getting an a upgraded card or a playoff card. So I will say that. Right now, I would like for you guys, I should have said in the beginning of the video, who do you feel is going to get a playoff card when it comes to the Dallas Cowboy theme team? All you guys' opinions are respectable. I know you guys sometimes even know more about this than I do. I'm just glad to have a platform to speak about it with you guys. But anyways, name your name your uh, players that you feel is going to get an upgrade in the promo. All right, so here we go. Now let's look at... Hmm. I don't believe Trayvon Diggs is going to get an upgraded card unless he's going to be the master of 95. I just don't see it. I think, what what is he right now? He's like a 93. I mean, he's a 90. Yeah, he's a 92 powered up he's a 93 i don't see him getting a card once again unless he gets the master version and i don't think he's gonna get one what i do believe is trayvon diggs will get a like you know team of the year card or whatever like that but i'll get into that in another video but i don't believe he's gonna get a card for that reason right that card he has is pretty decent already so i i feel that he'll get one later but not during the playoff promo same thing with michael parsons he just got an upgraded card um, so I don't see him getting another card, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Let me see who else. Neil, you know what? Neil might get a card. It's possible that he might. I, I could see him realistically once again getting a card. He got an upgrade throughout the year. I could see him getting once again. He, he could be one of the 90s, 92, or whatever the case may be. Um, he could be a what, what? Yeah, 90 or 91 version. I mean, a higher version than what he is right now. So I could actually see that taking place. His card is decent. We at least need him in the 90s and higher. If he gets a card, I'll be grateful. 
If he don't, but we also get another safety, I'll be even more grateful. But I can see realistic seeing him get a card. Like I said, it's going to be at the end, I'm, I'll show you my final, we'll say seven, right? Who I believe is going to get cards. I'll say my final seven at the end. Right now, I'm just going to name possible, possible playoff cards that we might see and then i'm going to tell you the ones that i feel that's going to get it but right now i'm talking about the possibility of cards getting an upgrade lathan vanderish it's possible that he might get one right it's possible that he might get one the last card he got what was a 90 so we're powered up to a he's powered up to a 91 with blue kims to a 92 so that's possible that, that he he might get one and if he does he's a 90 overall right now just with this card alone so, once again, he, he might be able to get the 93 version of himself um, dur during that promo. Oh, this is the one that, yeah, definitely, I could definitely see this. Here we go. We, we forgot to mention about this big guy. He's been out for quite a bit of the season. You know, he already came back, and he's actually doing tremendously well. But I also, I also want you guys to consider that it's possible that some of our players will be getting a team of the week card because they, they're not done with team of the week yet so they might be getting team of the week cards i don't know if he's going to be one of them but what i'm trying to say is that if some of the players you see right now don't get playoff cards it's possible they might get team of the week cards but anyways he's definitely one of the ones that i can actually see getting a playoff card demarcus lawrence and i can actually see him getting the master if they i mean it's going to be a you know far a far leap from it because he's at 83 but hey they could do it. They could give him the 95. And I'll be def definitely fine with that. Have We need a left end. We need an actual left end to play that position. So I would say that he will be one of the ones I look forward to. And I'll get him day one of the, the, the minute that the, the card drops. He could see it. Let's be realistic. They might not jump that far. So he might be able to get like a, I could see a 90, 91, 92 version of it. Now we, we have to go through this again. Once again, let me go ahead and fix this. All right, so that was already the second time that that done that. But regardless of the fact, let's go ahead and get back right back into it. So I, I had to fix it. But anyways, yeah, I could realis realistically see Demarcus Lawrence getting a card. If he get me, what we got right now, a 90. So if he gets a 90 or higher, I'll be happy with that. I mean, he might get the 95. I'll, either one, 90 or 90 and up, I'll be happy with. But I could realistically see him getting a card. So see what else who else have we got right here that we can actually go through and see uh Jalen smith I don't, I don't i realistically i don't see him getting the card there's too much that's been going on in the season everson griffin no based on the fact that first of all he's not a cowboy no more but i think that what the vikings are they're not even in the playoffs so that's not gonna happen okay so now, now let's go to this okay i'm just going based on the lineup I have right now, then I'm going to go to the item binder, see other Cowboys that we have. But honestly, though, I could realistically see. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is the wrong punter. What happened to our other punter? Hold on. I must have put him in because this ain't the one I was talking. I was going to talk about. Where is he at? I don't have him. I don't have him on the squad. Um, was it anger? Brian anger, something like that. Our punt. Hold on. Let, let me let me back out. I know we just had him on the. I just seen him the other day on uh, playing for the team. So let, let, let me let me make sure. I want to be. I want to be more accurate. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, I, I think we have two punters, right? That we have in the game available right now. Let me see. Either that or I'm tripping. Something was going on. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Okay, so that's what I thought. So Brian ain't... So I have the lower version of the punter? Oh, nah, bro. We can't be doing that. How did I not have Brian Anger? I'm tripping. We have him now. But anyways, let me go ahead and go into to that. I can see Brian Anger realistically getting an upgrade. And the reason why is because the way they've been talking about him and, the, and how good of a punter he is, I'm surprised he hasn't gotten an upgrade yet. But I could see him in the in the promo getting an upgrade. Once again, even if it's a high elite version, which is like an 87, it doesn't matter. As long as he's a high and elite, 
I'm all right with that, right? But I could realistically see him getting a card. Once again, it might be like an 87, 86, 85, whatever. I'm fine with that. I'll take it. Anything better than a 79 version of him. So I could realistically see him actually getting a card. I will say that. Now let's go with the item binder. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to put Cowboy players in general. And I want to see if I miss anyone, right? And then I'm going to give you my top seven because it's usually like six or seven players. Sometimes they release. It might be less. You know, it's up to them. But like I said, I realistically, I'm going to give you guys my from, from top to bottom. And then we'll go from there. Ah, he's not going to get one. I don't see that happening. Okay. Kazi. Kazi, if I say his name right, right? It's possible that he might get one, uh, one maybe maybe a higher version of this. It could be in the 90s, right? Brent Urban, he could be another one. So yeah, we 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 got some we got some good pick. Like I said at the end, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion who I really feel is going to get the playoff promo from the top. Like I'm going to I'm going to name top 7 and I'm going to start from the top to the bottom. Anthony Brown could be another one. Even though we have enough cornerbacks, he could realistically be another one to get like an elite card. We might not be using him like that. So he that might oh oh hold on here. J. Ron Curse. I can't believe I forgot about this guy. This guy did so well this year that I don't know why he hasn't gotten an upgrade to his his uh safety position. So I can actually see him get a card um in the 90s. I can actually see him getting a high elite card. Okay, so this is this is a uh, Schultz already got one, so I don't see him getting another one, and I'm all right with that. I'm happy with what we have. Donison, Don, Donovan Wilson, no, because of the fact of I think J. Ron Curse will get it before him, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm trying to see who else. Hey, Armstrong, Mike, he might get one, but it's gonna be like I said, like a like a like more of the lowest elite that we get of the playoff promo. It's possible that he could get Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson, high possibility there, because how's while he's been playing these last few games and he's gonna be taking over for Michael Gallup. Once again, I believe whatever he gets is gonna be the lower version of of the playoff promo card, but it's it's possible, it's possible to see him uh, get that, right? So who else we got going on here? Anybody else? I don't see Cooper Cup or anything like that. That would be a waste of a card. They do some stuff like that. I mean, I'll use them for a gameplay. But, uh, oh, Terrence Steele. I can see, I can see a Terrence Steele getting a, getting a minor upgrade. Not, nothing crazy, but I can see him getting a minor upgrade because he has been doing pretty decent at his position, so they might just hook him up, but it's possible. Now, I'm going to go to the top seven cards that I believe is going to be that we're going to see in the playoff playoff uh playoff promo these are the cards i i went i went over all the possible cards that could that could be in it i'm gonna go over the top seven cards that i i think we will see in the playoff promo the first one being is the one i said in the beginning which is zach martin i think number one he definitely will be a card being in the playoff promo two two i would see oh here we go tyron smith i could see tyron smith being in the playoff promo number two so zach martin tyron smith i could see also demarcus lawrence which is three because he hasn't got an upgrade in a while and he's actually been playing very well lately so that's three who else i'm just giving you guys the ones right now that i believe is going to get up like i really believe is going to get one so that's three where's uh i oh pollard four i believe tony pollard will get a car so that's four I also believe, because so that's four. I also believe, well, Randy Gregory Gard, because I don't know. So five is going to be the punter. I don't know where the punter is at right now. I'm going to go all the way down and find him. But I believe Brian Anger strongly will get a card. So that's going to be, how much did I card already? I'm tripping on. So one, two, three, um, four, Brian Anger, four, Polar five. So we need two more. So then we're the ones, two more. Oh, where's that? J. Ron Curse. J. Ron Curse will be my sixth one that I, where he is. Sixth one I believe will get a card. Just based on how well he's been playing, he hasn't got an upgrade. Our seventh one. It's going to be up here. Our seventh one will be, because I got to consider the highest of the elites and also to the lowest who they might give one to. 
And honestly, I think the last one that they'll, they'll probably end up giving one to, which is to be the lowest of the lowest, would be Cedric Wilson. I, I could really see that honestly coming about that he's going to be the seventh one from 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 the ones I named to him to the be the least. If they release seven cars, I believe that he'll be the like the lower of the elites getting released just to give him a car because he's been playing so well. So, anyways, then we're the top seven cards that I believe will actually get a playoff card from the top to the to the from the top to the least, top to the bottom. Let me know in the comment section who you feel is gonna get a playoff card. And once again, we went over all the cards that could, that could possibly get one. And we all, I, I gave you my top seven who I believe is going to get a card. But anyways, there it is there. If you guys like Super Scene, drop a like on the video. If you guys need to sub, sub to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.